Okay, so we'll be doing recursion one triangle. We have a triangle made of blocks. The topmost row has one block. The next row down has two blocks. The next row has three blocks, and so on. Compute recursively, no loops or multiplication, the total number of blocks in such a triangle with the given number of rows. Okay, so here are the sample cases. When when we get zero, then it's going to return zero because clearly, if there's a triangle with zero rows and it has zero blocks. Okay, so when triangle has one row, it has one block. And this also is kind of self-explanatory. If there's a triangle with one row, it's just going to be one block. Next, it's two rows. Right? And then when there's two rows, the, t um, the total number of blocks. So when it's, there's row two, would have two. But then in total, if there's two rows, then there's going to be one, two, three, three. So as you can see by what we just did, we're going to be constantly stacking it down, right? So for 3, we're going to add, oops, we're going to add this row. I, I apologize for my drawing. This row, and then so on. So basically what we need to do is compute how much we have at that given row, and then go down. So at here we have 3, and then we would return whatever plus this amount this triangle si row size 2. Okay, so that means that the base case would be that when there's zero rows, um, so let's just say, okay, when rows equals zero, okay, actually I'll just say r, when r equals zero, then the zero, because zero, a triangle with zero rows has zero blocks. And then every, for everything else, we will return LR. As you can see, on the third row, there's three blocks. On the second row, there's two blocks, etc. Plus um, whatever it is for the next size. So for three, then we would add three because there's three blocks in that row. And then we would return whatever F of two is, which is whatever's on top of that. And then we would go all the way up until it's zero. So let's code that. So if rows equals zero, then as we said, we return zero. Else, we return r, which is rows, um, which is how many blocks there are in that row, plus triangle rows minus one, which is the size above it. And as you can see, that 